Uh, hello everyone, I pray that you're having an amazing morning. Let's get right to it. Uh, I want to start off first and say that for the most part, okay, for the most part, this channel is for the believers. This channel is for the most part for those who have already professed and embraced the Lord Jesus, have been quickened by his Holy Spirit, that means made alive, born again, adopted into the family of God, knowing this in heart, mind, and soul, and profess that with your lips, uh, unwavering in your faith and in your testimony that God has indeed saved you and sealed you with the Holy Ghost. With that said, understand, the Bible was never wrote or written for unbelievers. In fact, Scripture will tell you that the natural man cannot understand the words of God, neither can he know them or understand them for they are spiritually discerned the lost simply need to hear the gospel and and one uh, one friend one commenter uh, pointed that out and he's so spot on with that that is so very true the gospel is for the lost and with that said think about the Great Commission first Whenever you're, you're speaking to someone and you're having dialogue, you know, and you're sharing something and say you're giving instruction, oftentimes you will make the last thing you tell someone the most pertinent thing because that's what's going to settle in their mind and that's what they're going to remember the most out of all that you've said. Now, thank God we have the Holy Ghost who will bring back to remembrance everything that Christ has said. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it in a and we're in a pinch, as it were, of what we're going to say. In that self-same hour, the Holy Ghost will give us those words. That's why we should be instant, in season and out of season. Always ready to give a defense uh, for the hope that is in you. But do it with meekness and with, uh, and with respect. Okay, moving on in, uh, with my thought. The Word of God is for those who have already believed. Because in that, in believing, and God enlightens us and illuminates us to himself, whereby we can now understand Abba Father. Okay, we can call him that. You know, let me point this out. You hear, you hear people say this, we're all, uh, we're all God's children. Nope. Oh, sorry, we are not all God's children. To as many as have believed on the on the Lord, it is them that He's given power to become the sons of God. To them who have believed on His name, okay. To become the sons of God. And I, and I will say, I'm not trying to add to scripture, but that son, gender, generally speaking, is a spiritual term. So females are included. So we can't say daughters, although they are included in that word sons. Okay, we're, but my point is the becoming. Okay, we're, we're, we're first dead in our trespasses and sins. Okay. We have to believe upon the Lord Jesus and then be saved and be adopted into his family. This is, you know, it's, it's, it's spiritual, it's supernatural, it's, it's metaphysical. And, and, and sure, it's okay to think in those terms because you and I are, are spiritual beings. Even though we are housed in this tabernacle of flesh and we move about with this, um, we are still spiritual beings. And when you die, you simply are separated 
where this returns to the dust and the ashes and then life as it were your soul your spirit begins to move on into another plane of existence back to what I was saying about the understanding of the word of God and this channel being about or speaking primarily to believers. This is exactly what I'm doing. Giving prudent look, you, I couldn't I couldn't share wise words or prudent words that not of my own words, uh that, simply, that come from the heart of God if you haven't first uh, been born into his family. It's that serious. When Jesus spoke about one being blind, or when Paul speaks about one being dead in your trespasses and sins, that's exactly what it is. You cannot see. Let me talk about judgment and the sovereignty of God just for a moment, and then um, and then that'll be it. Looks like I had a text message come up. I'm trying to read it at the same time I'm driving. <laughs> Better not do that. Judgment. You know the plagues of Egypt. Those were judgments from God. You know when we're saved. I'm just going to say this and then and then I'll follow up with it uh, maybe in another video or the next video talking about the, the judgment of God and the sovereignty of God. Know that the devil doesn't um, execute judgment. Satan doesn't judge anybody. Satan's going to have his butt thrown in the lake of fire along with death, hell, and the grave. Satan, Satan, Satan. Satan's defeated foe. When you're saved, you're saved from God himself. You're saved from the wrath of God. Know this. We give the enemy too much credit. A defeated foe. Talk about what the enemy's doing. Really? You talk about almighty God is who needs to be <laughs> the subject <laughs> of the matter. We're saved by God. We're saved from God, basically, from the wrath of God, by Him. And we're saved for Him. Okay? It's all about Him. That's why you have those two creatures. Uh, on, the, on either side of the of the throne of God, eyes all over him, wings. I don't know how many heads or whatever he's got. I mean, these are creatures that God created. And all they do is say, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, day and night. Holy, holy, holy. Look, if you and I don't worship the one who has all power, dominion, glory, honor unto him, somebody else will. God don't need us. We need him. I love you guys. I'll talk to you next time. And leave your comments.